Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the changes that Microsoft is making available for the Notepad app on Windows 11. So let's get right into the changes. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help you to show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Also, you can always visit my website for more tutorials and tech news. Okay, in this release, Microsoft is updating the Notepad app with two new features, including recent files and summarize. Now, first, we're going to look at recent files, which according to Microsoft, it's been the most requested feature for Notepad. So now when we open the file menu, we're going to see that we have a new recent sub menu that lists the recent files that you might have used with Notepad. And you can also see that we have an option to clear that history. Now, this is a small change, but it is a welcome addition since this particular menu should have been in Notepad from the beginning, at least since Microsoft introduced the modern version of Notepad. Now, let me know in the comments what you think about this addition to Notepad. Now let's look at the Summarize feature, which is actually powered by Copilot AI. So basically you can now select text in Notepad and then when you right click that selection, you can access the Summarize option, which you can see right here. This option is also available from the Copilot menu, as you can see right here. Don't confuse Summarize with ReadWrite. They kind of do similar things, but one is tailored to summarization and the other one rewrites the text. So now if we select the summary option, we're going to have Copilot doing its things. And as you can see now, we have a summarized version of the text that we selected. We can use this option to choose the length of the text. We can also insert it on the text file. We can copy, we can regenerate, and we can discard this particular summarization. So my question here is, do we really need AI features on Notepad? In my case, I think we don't, but Microsoft thinks that we do. So let me know in the comments what you think about Microsoft keep adding AI features to different apps and more into the Notepad app. Another thing that it might be a little controversial for some users is that Notepad is supposed to be a simple note-taking app and now not only gets integration with AI, but you're required to use a Microsoft account in order to access these AI features. And Microsoft actually turned this feature on by default. So and why you're required to use a Microsoft account? Well, because you're going to be using AI in the cloud and each action that you do with AI cost money. So if you have a Microsoft 365 subscription or a Copilot Pro subscription, you have an allowance of tokens that allows you to perform different actions with AI. Now, the uh, free feature, I believe, also has a few tokens per month. So you might be able to use it, but just only a few times a month. But again, you have to be signed in with your Microsoft account. Now, if you don't want to use the summarized feature on Notepad or any other AI feature, you can actually disable all of these components. And to do that, you have to go to the settings for Notepad, scroll down, and under AI features, you're going to see a new entry called Copilot. And from here, you just need to turn this off. Now, when you're back into Notepad, you can see that the Copilot menu and the user profile is no longer available in the app. And that's it. Those are the new features that Microsoft is testing out on Notepad version 11.2501 that 2.9.0 that and higher releases. These features are available in the Windows Insider program, but you have to have a computer enrolled in the Canary or the Dev channel. Let me know in the comments what you think about these improvements. Also like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.